Hey guys, it's Kim and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have got the spring makeup look for you guys. So I'm gonna start off using my Morphe Eyelid Primer, just grabbing a little bit of that and then use my ring finger to blend that out and then go in to blend out further using my brush just to give me a nice, even base. And then the eyeshadow palette I'll be using today is my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This palette is so gorgeous. Oh my God, look at it, like it's so pretty. So I'm gonna start off using Punk from this eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna pat that on onto my crease on both eyes. Then I'm gonna go in and mix in Banji and Punk. I'm gonna use that as my transition color and use that to blend out Punk, which is the first shade that I use. Then I'm just gonna go back in working my way between Punk and Banji. So then to cut my crease today, I am using my Too Faced Chestnut Concealer. I forgot to hit record on my camera. So you guys didn't see when I cut in my crease. And now I'm just using my ring finger just to blend out the edges. So moving back into the palette, I'm gonna start off using Stranded. I'm just gonna place that on the inner third of my eyelid. You guys already see what I'm doing. I'm just packing that on. Then I'm gonna go in with Ignite and I'm gonna use that to fill in the rest of my cut crease before going in and adding more punk to my outer corners just to you know, help everything blend nicely and you know there's no harsh lines because we don't do that baby we don't do that over here so to line my top lashes i am using my nyx liquid eyeliner you guys know that i love this eyeliner this is literally the only eyeliner that i use personally and now i'm just using a orange paint to give me that pop of color and i'm using it to create a double liner for mascara today i am using my infamous collection fast Rip mascara so moving on to my skin, I'm going to start off using this Primark Glow Primer. I really like this because it just smells so good and I think that's something to my makeup. You guys can see that I have a little spot, not a little, a big spot on my chin. I don't know who upset, but I'm just going to keep moving. Um, so next I am going to be using my Makeup Session Ola Blur Primer just to prep my skin. And this is one of my favourite primers as well. So next I am going to be using my Makeup Session Fit to Fix Spray just to again prep my skin for my foundation and the foundation i'll be using today is my Too Faced born this way foundation with mixing in with my makeup revolution concern Fine foundation as well the combination of these two is freaking amazing i absolutely love it it just gives me like a nice flawless finish as you guys can see and then to console my face today i'm using my born this way from Too Faced concealer and i'm just using that to highlight my face in the usual areas that I do. I don't usually highlight my forehead because you guys already know that I have a big forehead. And then to contour today, I am grabbing my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Congo, and I'm just using that to contour my face. And I'm just going with my Real Technique brush and I'm just using that to blend out my contour first, allowing my concealer, my highlight concealer to get a little bit dry before going into Blender out. And I'm gonna be using a Beauty Blender to blend that out, which is what I'm doing right here. So after blending that out, I am just quickly going in with my foundation brush, but I'm not adding any more foundation. I'm just using this to blend my contour and my highlight shades so that there isn't any harsh lines. Because baby, we don't do any harsh lines over here. We want flawless. Before I go into bake, I'm going to use my MUA Pro Base Face Powder. I'll put the shade name down below. Oh, I think it's 170. I'm just going to use this powder to lightly set my highlighted areas. I didn't show setting all my areas, but I did go in and in my nose, my chin. So now I'm going to go in and bake and I'm using my Too Faced setting powder just to lightly bake. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NW50 and NW58. Um, the 58 is quite dark for me, but I do like the undertone of it, so that's why I mix it with my nw50 and i just use that to set my face and then to set my contour area i am going in my mac film noir blusher i'm just using that to set my contour area um i don't know why i didn't show you guys but i promise you that's what i'm using going back into the born to run palette i am using banji again oh my god i've been saying the wrong name this whole time is banja um yes yeah, so i'm using banja and i'm just placing this on my lower lash line so now i'm just going in and dusting off my excess powder i don't really like to bake for too long so now i'm just going back in and setting my face using my makeup session fit to fix um spray i'm going to add my eyelashes and now i'm going back in with my fast wrap mascara i'm just placing this on my lower lashes i don't put in a black eyeliner in my waterline i just left it like that because i wanted my eyes to pop so moving on to lips i'm using my makeup session all purpose stick i'm going in with this 
lipstick i can't remember the name of this lipstick so i kind of didn't show it so i'll put it um down below and i'm just highlighting my face and my inner corners with my george 4 highlighter and that pretty much completes the end of this look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up comment down below what you think about this look and let me know if you're going to be recreating it as well subscribe down below if you haven't already it really helps me out and i love you guys so much oh i did go in and add gloss afterwards just because you guys know i love glass like i love glass um but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.